Breaking right now at 5 o'clock, House Majority Whip Tom Emmer dropped out of the Speaker's race just hours after the conference nominated the Minnesota Republican for the top job. Hello again, everyone. I'm Chris Stefani. And I'm Lois Tomey. Republicans are once again trying to find a Speaker nominee capable of winning enough support within their own party to be able to win a majority vote on the House floor. Wait News reporter Claire Galt is live in Washington, D.C. Claire, what's happening there right now? Well, Lois, I am right outside that closed room where Republicans are meeting right now. They've got to start that whole process over of picking a nominee. That was around 2 o'clock that Emmers was nominated. And it's obvious that between then and now, something changed. And it became very clear he was not going to get those 217 votes that he needed to be Speaker. Now, during that recess, I also spoke to Congressman Mario diaz Ballard, And I asked him about this very situation. What does it mean if Emmers can't get those votes? And more importantly, what does that mean for the Republican Party. I don't even want to think about it because if we can't, if, if Emmer can't put it together, um, and then then we're running into a major problem. Is it 217? Are you going to push for Donalds again? What's that? If Emmer can't reach 217. I'm not even. I'm not even. Going, I'm not even going to contemplate that because because I think it's important to try to see that try to get to uh, electing a speaker after we've had an election. Now, a few minutes ago, I spoke to Congressman Byron Donald's spokespeople. I asked them, is he going to re-enter the race? They told me they're not sure yet. Oh, that's Chris. Well, Claire, you know, this afternoon, former President Trump sent out a tweet calling Emmer a, a rhino, a Republican in name only. Did that have an impact? Well, Lois, I'm sure Congressman diaz Ballard and Donalds supported Emmers, but it is very clear that there are so many congressmen and women who still support the former president, and nothing is going to change that. All right, Claire Galt, live for us in Washington. We'll check back with her at 6 o'clock.